Hello and welcome to mycadsite.com and this is an exercise on tutorial 2-3 and this is going to teach uh, the align command in a real world situation. Now for this exercise I've given you these lines here and this could be part of a larger master drawing and then asked you to draw the room and this could be very common. And what we want to do is to align the room you've just drawn into the walls uh, that are part of the master drawing. And so to do that, we'll be using the, line, the align command itself. Now, what we need to do is, first of all, zoom in a little, and I'll just show you. I've, to draw this room, you would start here, down, across, up, and then just use O snaps to connect that last line and then just use the offset command draw a line out there and then offset to get your doors offset to get that door and the same for your partitions in there and then last thing you want to put in is the doors and the ceiling grid so now that you've got it drawn and you've got everything on the right layer I've added some there we'll just get back into the full drawing and so from here I start the align command AL will get it started and I select everything and what I'm going to do now is remove some of the other lines that are there in the existing master drawing and I'll just use my wheel to zoom in zoom out and select these lines and then get the ones at the other end that one and the other side of the door so now I've got all my objects selected I press enter and what I'm going to have to do is find the source point and destination point and that's a common point to get it placed and I'm using the corner as shown there and I could use this line to this line but I don't know that that's the same length but I will just use this door point to this door point because I know that that'll be the same location and ask for a third point so I'll just press enter and I don't want to scale it so I press enter again and you'll see that it's now right in place I've got these lines that I didn't select so I'll just erase those and these ones up here and now you'll see that everything is exactly in place as it should be if it was drawn to scale properly. So the align command, once again, something you'll be using in a more real world situation because ne not everything is going to be at right angles, but you can draw things at right angles and then align them later. Or as we showed in a previous video, that you can use a rotate.